Welcome back to the channel. My name is Edward and today I'm super excited about giving this new Yaoi review for you guys. This Yaoi just came out this year. It finished about two weeks ago and I was like, shoot, I have to tell you guys about it. So the Yaoi I chose for you guys today is called Given. Thankfully, it's super easy for me to say. Usually I get these super hard names, but not today. I got a super easy one. So the thing about this series, it doesn't go straight to the whole fan service as much as I know I'm one of them. Sex definitely sells because I'm proof it works. I, but I mean, it's not a bad thing. I actually like that this series took it a different turn. I actually didn't mind it this time. Let me go ahead and start with the review. So when this series starts, we meet a character named Satu. He's very quiet. He's very to himself. And we meet this other character. His name is Rusuka, which we meet him it seems like he's also his life isn't going too well or he's I guess in other words he kind of lost passion for what he actually loves what they have in common is that they're both high school students besides the interesting interaction that they both have that pretty much leads to a love story when they first meet it goes from could you fix my guitar to where could you give me guitar lessons well it's like Sato's part him joining a band and him learning guitar and all this type of stuff we kind of see their whole relationship develop from there and we also see that Rusuka trying to figure out his feelings because he starts to develop feelings for Sato but he thinks it's a bit strange because he's a guy and then we meet the other two characters that are also in the same band Akiyoko and Maruki they're guys in their early 20s and they go to university as you keep watching the series like you start wondering if wait are they gonna be together which I'm hoping they end up together because it's pretty obvious they are meant to be something I will be honest I was kind of worried because I thought uh, Kyoko was with somebody because there's a time when he goes home late we just see this guy like getting out of bed and he's like oh you just got here and I was like freaking kidding me like I was shipping this too but I was like heck no no I do not support cheating but it turns out the guy that he's living with is actually his first love or at least uh, one of the guys that he fell for in high school they actually are roommates they're not together so it's still safe for us to ship Maruki and Akio go together yes we do get some backstories and we get to learn know more about these characters like for instance Sato it turns out that he had a boyfriend when he was in middle school but the sad thing is that his boyfriend actually committed suicide I can see why he was heartbroken for so long because he really loved him and we also see like the backstory of how Maruki saw Rizuka and who is this kid he's super awesome and I like he wanted him to join a band with him and sooner or later he meets uh, Kyoko and all oh, when our eyes met I, I felt something I never felt before for a guy and like oh my gosh when they first interacted and then that's when they kind of joined the uh, band together or they like form a band so one of my favorite moments has to be the part where uh, Akiyoko confronts Rizuka about his feelings for Sato being super accepting and super cool about it here comes a moment when we see that the band has a gig right so Sato's obviously starting to play guitar and they even ask him at one part, you know, I think it would be a good idea if we have a song that has vocals on it and they tell him, okay, why don't you write a song for it? It was pretty much a challenge for him because like I said, he was still heartbroken and he didn't know how to move on from the past and he loved Yuki very much. Time came, I mean, at first I thought this band was over, you guys, because the the craziness, like the guitar string breaking, the Rizuka being tough on Sato. I hate it because there was a cliffhanger right there, but I guess that's how they get you to keep watching, right? This is when we see that Haruki is like the rock in the band because what are you guys doing? It's not the end of the world. Damn. If it wasn't for him, this band would be over. I honestly didn't think Sato was going to perform and he started singing. Besides me being shocked and them being shocked and the audience being shocked, basically he had his like a star is born moment. I I'm on the deep end. Uh. <laughs> I was reading the subtitles. I may have not understood what he was singing. I could feel the music. I can feel his pain and him just letting go and trying to move forward. Sato, obviously, he's speechless after this performance. Rizuka goes with him and kind of um, comforts him. Sato's like emotional and then he just kisses him. I was like, oh my gosh. I think I was singing like a Taylor Swift song when this was happening. Apparently that night was very successful and they decided to do a social media account, getting a new name. 
given like the anime Sato confesses his feelings to Rusuka Rusuka panicking in gay here came the part where there was like okay we gotta get a blessing right and do you think they're talking about yeah they're talking about Akiyoko and Haruki after a few words Haruki decided to give them blessing and yeah they hugged it up when they went to Akiyoko's place and told them oh yeah we're dating Akiyoko's like about freaking time literally my reaction so yeah that pretty much wraps it up they just living their life going through little moments here and there if you have not seen it I do recommend checking it out it's super good I'm so happy I saw this one I mean obviously I'm gonna watch it I cannot say no to a yaoi by the way I don't know if you guys heard I read on their Twitter that a movie is coming out maybe after the movie we'll get a season two who knows but Let's not forget to support the series. Thank you so much for watching. If you have seen this series before, let me know in the comments what you thought of it. Also, if you liked this review, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more Yari reactions, well, reactions, reviews, and just content in general. I hope you have a great, fantastic day. I'll see you guys soon. Have a good one. Take care.